The HIV infection rate went up 22% among gay men under 25 between 2008 and 2010. Um, how big an issue, Peter, is, is complacency? Uh, a sense that this is no longer such a, a, a fatal disease. It is the issue. Um, uh, it, it depresses me to no end that, uh, I mean, while, 90, while the drugs that came out in 96 were such a turning point and a huge victory and saved so many lives, it was a double-edged sword in the sense that it, it caused a lot of us to fall down in fatigue after you know, this 15-year fight and, and, and want to put this as far behind us as possible. And, and, and that's sadly especially true for the gay community uh, in this country and, uh, and, and, and in many countries around the world where they, uh, they want to move on, they only want to talk about gay marriage, gay marriage, gay marriage. And you'd be shocked to realize how uh, the gay leadership in this country with our, our huge lobbying organizations and our large foundations, how uh, token their efforts are at this point on HIV AIDS. And it's resulting once again in a rising infection rate. So silence may not be equaling death like it did in those early years, but it is equaling a, a whole lot of healthcare issues. The biggest health crisis facing gay men today, it remains so. Mm -hmm.